Okay, so doing another quick video, just showing um, this time actually using the iPad. I created a song, and um, here I'll show you. And with using AUM and a couple apps, I use Koala, of course. Let me open it up for you so you can see what I'm talking about. So you can see it right there. There's what I use. This was gonna be a bass, but I decided not to do it in there. So I just basically made a drum track. Uh, use sample uh, some jazz horn stuff from the radio and then chopped it up using the um, method I think I showed you with Drombo. And um, then added some different apps there. You see other desert cities and uh, dub station from audio. And then I forgot how you pronounce that other out there but anyway um, my goal was to get it from the iPad because a lot of times what happens is I don't complete a song if I'm in the iPad for whatever reason I just don't um, I need to get it to Ableton or get it to some DAW to be able to finish it and there's stuff on iPad but it just doesn't appeal to me to finish it there I'm, I'm used to my workflow here I like my plugins better here um, but there's some good ones on iOS. And so one of the things that I've, when I first tried this, I tried this like maybe a year ago and it wasn't so good. The um, IDAM thing where you can use your iPad, which you see I have it plugged in or your iPhone. And then I plug it into the computer, which is right over where my finger can't show you, but it's over here. And so basically um, I just recorded literally the, um, I didn't do the drums straight in. I did do the percussion which is right here. So you'll see this percussion portion here was um, was recorded in with the, uh, you know what, this should be this way, with the uh, IDAM as well as this. So what I did was because this is a random feature that I used in Drombo, I basically just let it play for like 17, like uh, a little over 20 something bars. I wanna say like 24 bars. And then I cut sections out of it to make it parts, right? So here's sample part one, part two. I use this first portion as an intro into the song. And then what I did was I came over here and on the sample outro, I reversed it. So that was kind of what I, my method to that madness. Played in some pianos here uh, using spit, uh, contact, using Nori Felt. And then after I recorded that in, I bounced it to audio and then reversed it on the back end over here. So when it plays out, it'll play that. Use Trillion for the bass. So, um, and I, I've been using Fretless lately just cause I love the sound of it. Um, especially if it's a little darker, like the Jocko stuff is a little bright. Occasionally I can get down with that stuff and he's an amazing bass player obviously, but uh, most of the time I like, I like a little bit darker sound on that. Um, and so instead of doing, I basically just got the same drums, the kick, snare, and hat that I used in the uh, in Koala. Instead of trying to send that portion out uh, where I would have to mute each one and record it out, what I did was I just went in and um, recorded the same kick, snare, and hat. It didn't take that long either to just drop it in Ableton. In a, um, oh, and I dropped it in and a drum instrument, and then I played it, and then I bounced, I froze, uh, flattened that, freeze and flatten to get it to be audio, because I prefer to have the audio and work with an audio. Um, actually, I take the back, I don't prefer it, I just, that's my choice I did, but sometimes I'll use the other. And then I added on a uh, Golf Wolf, a Wolf compressor, the 303 compression, and then put a little Valhalla on there. Um, little Valhalla uh, drum air, which is the vintage reverb that I said is my favorite verb. There it is. And I use it. And sometimes on the percussion stuff, I'll put like, I say percussion, but I mean like hats and um, percussive instruments. I'll put like 20%, but I usually use 10% across the board. I didn't add um, um, knock. Sometimes I'll have knock on there too. I didn't use knock this time because the kick... The drums and stuff were really loud already, and I wanted this track to sort of be an ambient track. It's not really amb completely ambient, but it has some ambient textures and features in it that I wanted to keep. 
And so I just wanted to be able to work within that. So here's what it sounds like. I'll let you play here sections of it so you don't have to listen to the whole thing. This is the intro. I got a little bass slide in right there. kind of cinematic slash ambient. All right, I'll let you hear the end now since you pretty much heard the body of it. This is the second portion of the sample right here. And then here's the last. So that you hear, let me go ahead and zip to it. So here's how it sounds as it goes out. So that's it. So what I'm doing also in here is I'm using, again, the inner, inner ocean four track. So I'm running the sample, which is this track here with all the parts. I'm running that through it. Didn't really adjust anything other than over here with the wow, the um, bias and the flutter using the task cam, but I didn't put any noise on it really. And about uh, six, or close to 60% of the wet on the bias. Running the bass through it and the chords. And actually, it's not chords. It's actually, I'm going to probably have to change it. But these are just um, me playing a riff up here on the melody. So you can see the notes. I'm just playing in some, um, like a solo type thing over the front, just to give me some piano lightly in the background. So nothing major going on here. Or to me, it's not that major. But I mean, it's still, you know, a nice little flow to have. So yeah. Really fun uh, track to do. Didn't take a long time because I had started on it previously, so I'm just bringing it over. So this video is gonna be short, but I just wanted to show you, I didn't even really use Scalar in this one at all, except for the fact that I wanted to figure out which key I was playing. So I just, I had some notes in my mind that were played. I did a detect on those notes and played them in, and then I came out with G Phrygian. So that's kind of what I sam what I soloed in, which is cool because it's got kind of an exotic sound to it and that's kind of what i want you know for this track so anyway this is kind of my jazzy low ambient vibe cinematic vibe that i wanted to put together and i just wanted to share it with you so you can get an idea you see it's not a lot to the way i did this track but uh what is cool about it is being able to color coat things like this so that you can just put all your samples on one track instead of having a bunch of tracks and if you can eliminate how many tracks you have, so I have four, five. This one is because I'm using that um, that uh, plugin to make it uh, to run everything through. So really, that's five. This bass slide, eh, technically, I could probably bounce it down, bounce this bass down to one track, so it all be together. And then um, same the same way I did with the pianos here. So technically one, two, we're gonna call it, uh, plus these uh, five here. And if you wanna add this one in, that gives me what, eight eight tracks basically I needed to do this, to do the song. So that's why I say if you have like the, in, the free version, the light version, as long as you don't mind committing to putting some of the audio, putting some of the tracks to audio or all on one uh, MIDI channel, then you should be able to deal with it and do it within that time frame. I'm not even using these drum bus down. Are there any of these bus down here? Even though they're late, this one's labeled. And then the master, I am using. I, I keep the same master chain for the most part. I don't change it much um, or hardly at all. I just put. The, I just go ahead and put everything on each um, channel because I'm not really using that many plugins in the first place. And you can see my percentage of use, even if I play it, is usually around around 18, 19%, 20% max. Uh, this is the M1, um, the M1 uh, Pro chip. So anyway, it works really well with that. And I don't, I don't have too many problems with how many tracks I use, which I don't use a lot anyway, though. So 
All right, 10 minutes, I'm out to the next one.